Umentri Rangba Kajela, Konrad K. Sangma, Haka Dorbar Sunrai, Kabalong, Haka Arpoi Tadik Nailur, Ula Ong Banakalian Kasorkar, Kalapan Klein Shu Yakibor Pahara, Haki Jaka Kapun, Kaming Halia Asam, Haka Time Block One, Hadin Kajinkano, Halor Kajingmi, Jonka Weka Kanhun King at Yarba Tamai, Jonki Jai Bendriu Karbi, Ka United People's Front of Karbi Longri, UPFKL. Haba Jubab Yaka Jinkali Balawanra, Lau MLA Ka UDP Namukayao, Uba Nujorki Sungo, Usangma Ula Ong Bawat Laki La Yot Snow Yaka Nika Kubor, Henry Kim Patsham La Yot Satya Yaka Jing Tip Kabatikna, Lane Bakandon Ka Jing Ujor, Daki Noki Noki Nong Shong Shnong, Halor Ka Jing Shat Dawa Pisa, Haki the Kot, Jong Kate Kakunhun. Wat Laka Ta UCM Ula Ong Hadin Ka Jing Saki Lang Baki Lat Patai Kubor, Halor Ka Jingmi, Jong Kane Kakunhun. Nakalianga Sorkaru, Kalapn Klein Shushu, Yaki Bor Pahara, Haki Taki Tain Kapun. Nalor Kata, Ula Ongru, Bakashiti, Kalawan Poiru, Naki Kanhun, Seng Balang Shaka Sorkar, Halor Ganeka Benta, Hadian Bakasorkar, Kalashim Yaki Sinjam, Kata Nakalianga Sorkar, Tanat Kuliat, Baki Bor Punyai District, Kilatrai Klemshong Tai, Ban Puntikana, Ban Pune, Yakashong Sok Shangshan, Haki Niki Tain Kapun. Ukonrat Ula Ong Bakajisu Kya Balapan Pau Da Udukhat Kadei Ka Bakong San. Ka History Jong Ka Block 1 Bar Block 2 Kadei Ka Balaya Tip Da Baro Bakajim Penkenria Ya Ka Block 1 Bar Block 2 Kadei Tang Namar Ka Jing Suk Haka Sanshar Kadar. Kane Kadei Ka Badon Haka Jing Tho Haka Sorkar Mighalia Ka Sorkar Asam Bar Ka Sorkar India. Haba Pai Kaman Halor Kane Ka Benta Ngila Sedang Banyak Ren Bar Ka Sorkar Asam Kumju Bar Ka Karbi Ang Long Autonomous Council KAAC. Ngan kiarno na kajinga kriyan halor kani bat kumno bangin yai shakman. Hakasin banengkong ngim pat juyo i yakum kani kajing shimkia jong kasorkar asam bat kasorkar mighalia ban pun bai yaki kam yaka jiaput ong u chief minister. Nalor kata da ka bapun tip ba kini ki arjala kini yakin duk biang hakatayo ka banengkong ne ba arjong u risau na kai punta kajinga kriyan. Ukonrad ula ong kandon kajing pun lejing mut bakar pang haka bai yadei bat katan kanduli psiar blok 1 bat blok 2. Namar kila don ki jing akan ad bamalu mala haki ni ki jaka. Halor ka jing kerpat jong usungo ban shina yaka surok hakat kasla bat ki benta ka mojem usang ma ula ong ngalaya keren bat usumbut menteri rangba ubala pentip bak ka jing penkere ya ka detail project report DPR kala sedang. Haka bayadei bat ka jing kerpat ban wanra ya ka primary health center hap siar bat molber Usang ma ula ong baki ni kishnong ki bahap haki jaka ki bami ka jing yap herjing mun Henry na kaliang ka sorkar kan penti kena baki pai ba nong syong shnong kim day ban ngat haki jing e. Ula ong baki sorkar bala lej ru ki la persyang ban penti jing mun halor kane ka benta kenang ban penti kena baki kam penroy kin om sang e. Na kaliang usungo syua kane ula keno baka jing temu jong kane ka kunhun king atiar batamai kalong ban penti ng pensiir ya ki khasi penar ki basyong basa haki thain blok wan. Kata hak hapud hapudeng ka West Giant Hills, bat ka West Karbi Anglong, kamtam haki benta jong ka elaka labang nong pelut pangam raliang. As we have seen that border, interstate border issue is one of the main priority of this present government and I really appreciate the effort of the government and also the effort that has been put by the Honorable Chief Minister to resolve this very important issue. But... So, I have some few submissions. First of all, sir, as I've said before, I would like to thank you for permitting my call attention. And this call attention is not only aimed at drawing the attention of the House, but more importantly, sir, to impress upon the government of the need to prioritize this matter as it has the potential to disrupt the communal harmony in the disputed area, which are still under negotiation with the government of Assam, and, did, and this could arrest the peaceful approach of both the state governments. And this may lead to further delaying the ongoing border resolution talk. And also, sir, this does not augur well for the future of our state and especially of our Britain who have been separated from us by the notification in 1951 under the grab of administrative convenience then while you were under undivided Assam. Without going any further, sir, first I would like to submit my attempt by translating the news report that appeared in the local news from Maupo, the 3rd July, the 2nd August 2023, under the caption, Mi Kekenhun Kai Klaut Mai Karbi, 
Chong's ear kikasipna basa ablawon. Which went translated to English, sir? Read us a new militant outfit of the Karbi has surfaced. Kasipna inhabitant of Block 1 are in fear psychosis. The report, sir, that was dated July the 2nd August 2023, read as follows. The inhabitant of Ilaga ng Labang ng Pulot, Pangam Raliang, publicly known as Block 1, have expressed their deep concern and fear at the surfacing of this new militant outfit known as the United Front of Karbi Long, UPFKL, as per the local news report of the Karbi Long on the 29 and 30 of July 2023. And also, sir, two of the members of this outfit have been arrested by the police of Manja Police Station, Karbi Long, and whose name are Sanjay Ingti and Rajesh Pongcho, both resident of Jikindeng under Block 1 area. And from this too, sir, as per the report, the police, the police have managed to seize two pistols, a hand grenade, and also, sir, at the same time, many incriminating demand notes have been recovered under the name of the UPFKL. Although, sir, the police did not reveal the name on this demand note, but some source revealed that they were meant to serve to the Kasi Panar community. And as per survey conduct independently, sir, it was further revealed that the new outfit has recruited more than 500 members, and the main objective of the formation of this new outfit is to terrorize and instill fear amongst the Kasipna inhabitants in Block 1 area, sir. So let me remind the House and let us not forget the historical facts that are present in the record of both the state that tells us the story of how the Kasipna inhabitants of Block 1 were made refugee in the year 2003, where around 5,000 of them have to flood their ancestral villages and seek refuge in Sasniang village. So the political plan intimidation of the Karbi to instill fear on Khasi Pana resident of Block 1 is one of the old strategy that they have been adopting to capture our rightful land which today are classified as disputed area in the modus operandi of the Karbi people. And also, Mr. Speaker, sir, the imposition of illegal payments to avail road to economic, medical, and educational facilities by a section of the Karbi outfit under no constitutional provision is but an illegal plan harassment. And there has been a traumatic and harrowing experience that our people have acclimatized to all, but to all because they believe that one day they will constitutionally be a part of Megalia again. And this very hopes up. Give the people, the Kasipna people, the strength and resilience to live this subdued life and with a very high anticipation that our state leader will not let them down. And Mr. Speaker, sir, in this very august house to you, I have this one very important question. Is it not our responsibility to correct this historical injustice meted out to our own Kasipna people? Sir, so, however, in course of my late father's attempt and even my own personal attempt to bring this issue to the many governments of our beloved states, I have at this juncture only what follows as a probable solution. One, sir, since 1951, our people have been cut off from accessibility to basic need. They have succumbed to what is available as dictated upon by our inherent survival instinct. One of the most important roads in Block 1 area, sir, known as the Katkasla Mujam Jikindeng Road, which is only accessible in winter time. 
And this is the only road, sir, in Block 1, which do not pass through a Karbi village. It is very important, sir. The road does not pass through any Karbi village. Why I'm raising this very important issue, sir? Most of the road that the people of Kasipnar use in Block 1 area, they have to grow, they have to grow or they have to pass through several Kar Karbi villages, sir. And when there's some communal clash happen, such as the incident in Kanduli, where a com communal clash happened between, between the Kasi, Panar, and the Karbi. All the road that the Panar people used to travel, sir, the people are from Karbi, they dug a very big hole, they cut trees in order to block the road so that they cannot use or access it. So that's why, sir, this very important road, I have raised on the floor of the house not less than three times. And personally, sir, I have met the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister in charge of PWD so many times. And once again, sir, in this very august house, through you, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to once again request upon our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister in charge of PWD, sir, to kindly take a special consideration for the construction of this very important road, sir, the Katkasla Mojem Jikendeng Road. And if you construct this road, sir, it will provide a lifeline. And in case if some communal clash happen, the people, the Khasi Pinar population, they can run through a road which does not pass through a Karbi village, sir. And also, sir, point number two, Again, this issue also, sir, I have raised in the, on the floor of the house, and that is to set up one PHC either in Psir or in Molobear village. Till now, all these people, all these villages in Block 1 area, they have to come all the way from Mojem, from Lamarang, from Chinong Tume, if it is around 25 to 30 kilometers away, they have to come all the way to Sasniang village, sir. So that's why, sir, I would like to request upon the government. We have seen that the government has done so many good things for the people and for the state as a whole. So, sir, I would like to request upon the state government and especially through our Honorable Chief Minister, sir, to kindly look into this matter and to set up a PHC either in Psir or in Molbuer village, sir. So in light of the above, through you, I humbly request the state government to kindly lend a serious intervention at all the levels so as to elevate the plight of our own people residing in this area who are subjected to untold suffering for no fault of this. So with this very few submissions, sir, I would like to thank you once again for giving me a chance to raise this call attention and with a very high hope, sir, that our Honorable Chief Minister and also our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister in charge of PWD Road, they will take keen consideration in the issue that I have raised just now, sir. Thank you, sir. Deputy Chief Minister, uh, Minister in charge, to reply, please. Chief Minister. Mr. Speaker, sir, I am thankful to the Honourable Member, Sri Najur Kisungo, for having tabled uh, the call attention notice. Uh, sir, I heard the statement uh, given by the Honourable Member, and uh, of course the reply was based on the caption that had come in, but his discussion had gone to other areas of development and the concerns of the border issue. Uh, so I will try to uh, reply to his concerns and I will uh, refrain from going into the lengthy reply that was made. But I would just like to go in some of the operative parts uh, concerning this particular matter. So first and foremost, uh, sir, the letter had come to us and uh, the first thing I would like to mention, sir, is that uh, from the government side and uh, the police side and the district administration side, 
so we are working tirelessly sir, to ensure peace and tranquility prevails in the region. Uh, in fact, sir, uh, uh, based on the media reports, again, sir, these are all based on media reports, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that there was a, uh, a united uh, people's front of Karbi, Karbi Longri, uh, new militant outfit, as per media reports, and as per the letter given to us, based on that media report. Uh, and hence, sir, we have not taken things lightly. We have, in fact, uh, ensured that our manpower and security forces have been enhanced and tightened in uh, all the police units, such as the uh, Sait Sama outpost, Narthyang police station, and armed personnel and special force personnel have been increased in all these locations uh, after these inputs through the media, again, have come in. Uh, but I would like to state here, sir, that uh, though the reports have been coming to us, uh, there is no specific uh, concrete intel uh, that we have received or no special specific uh, uh, you know, complaints being reported officially by any of the people that they have received any kind of uh, uh, extortion notes. Uh, and hence, uh, there is no specific intel by the police and the government on these activities, but nonetheless, uh, we are not taking any chance and hence based on the newspaper clippings, concerns of the different uh, organizations, we have increased our manpower uh, presence in uh, the border area, especially close to these locations uh, which I mentioned earlier, sir. So apart from that, uh, I also would like to state that uh, the concerns of the Honorable Member, of course, are very important and as correctly mentioned by him that um, the history of the entire Block 1 and Block 2 uh, the entire uh, state is aware about how, for administrative convenience at that point in time, the transfer of the Block 1 and Block 2 area was done then. And of course, it is part of history and it is part of records which are very much available uh, to government of Assam, government of Meghalaya and the, and the, and the central government, sir. And hence, given those circumstances as a state government, keeping in mind the concerns of the people living in that area, uh, we have started engaging with Assam government on this issue along with the uh, Karbelong uh, District Council and these are complicated matters and hence uh, I will refrain from going into the details of what the discussions are or uh, how we are moving forward but uh, the important point is that uh, government of Meghalaya uh, for the very first time in a such a serious manner of course past governments also have made their efforts but uh, uh, never have we seen this kind of effort in all the areas of differences that were there uh, that the state government, along with the Assam state government, has been engaging to find an amicable solution to this entire problem. So, sir, we are working on it. And, uh, in fact, in the first week or second week of October, as uh, I have already mentioned and uh, informed the House, that uh, there will be a, another round of meeting with the, uh, with the counterparts, uh, that is the regional committee chairmen and the Honorable Chief Minister and the government of Assam uh, to discuss uh, the matters and uh, there will be a special um, focus being given to Kanduli Pasiar Block 1, Block 2 area, uh, keeping in mind the current uh, situation and the slight tension that was prevailing out there. So apart from that, uh, I also would like to uh, share that uh, uh, that as a state government, we have been continuously uh, working towards the overall development of the state and a uh, large number of roads have already, in fact, in the concern, uh, MLA, the uh, mover of this call attention, uh, is aware that in his constituency also many roads which were, uh, which were neglected in the past, uh, for whatever reason, uh, many roads have been taken up, many areas of concerns, whether it's schools, whether it's medical uh, units, uh, BHC, CHC sub-centers, the government has made concerted effort to ensure that uh, we are able to provide all-round development <coughs> to his area and all the other uh, areas in the state as a whole. And of course, the concerns he had raised about the road that was mentioned, uh, keeping in mind, of course, the political uh, situations that are there, certain areas which are there, I can understand which uh, could fall under the areas of differences. Uh, that aside, Whichever areas are very clearly uh, within the uh, clear jurisdiction and not falling in the areas of differences, the government is examining all those areas of developments which can be done there. 
the road that has been mentioned by the honourable uh, member, I have just uh, uh, on the sides uh, spoken to, Dr. to our uh, Deputy Chief Minister and he mentioned to me that uh, the DPR uh, is in uh, preparation stage and it is an important road and the DPR has been prepared. So the action has been taken and on that road, but as I said, uh, uh, if the road is or any section comes on the disputed area or areas of differences, I should say, uh, some complications could come up. But apart from that, we will definitely examine, uh, we will definitely prepare the DPR and based on obviously the inputs we receive from the PWD department, uh, planning and finance will move on that. Uh, uh, but of course, we wait for the DPR first. Sir. Uh, number two, sir, uh, of course, you mentioned about the PHCs uh, and uh, uh, in certain areas. Again, again, sir, these are areas very close to the areas of dispute. Uh, uh, in fact, some of the areas mentioned by him are areas of differences even now as we speak. Uh, hence, uh, uh, keeping all of those factors in mind, uh, wherever possible and in discussion with uh, counterparts, especially when it comes to areas of differences. So we will try our best to ensure that people don't suffer. Uh, sir, in the previous uh, discussions also, even during the previous governments, uh, and previous chief ministers, there has always been a very important uh, point that all the governments have uh, tried to focus on, which is that at any given point, development activities must not stop. And hence, uh, we have always tried to ensure that uh, because of the uh, differences in the uh, border uh, area, in terms of the areas and uh, the boundary, uh, the people of the, uh, that particular area should not suffer. And hence, there has always been an effort Though there have been situations where always locally we find some kind of uh, uh, concerns being raised by certain groups or administrations and which happens sir, and that's the reason why we are trying to find a solution in the long run. Uh, but uh, we are aware sir about the uh, difficulties that are there in that area and I have in fact uh, uh, met the honourable member a number of times. Uh, he is somebody who is uh, very concerned about the issue. And time and again, he has brought uh, different members from the border uh, villages to meet me and to express their concerns. And I sincerely appreciate that. And I can also uh, inform him that, uh, uh, as he's aware, many projects are being taken up. And uh, we will examine all the proposals that have been given by him. And uh, we will look into these matters and see where it's possible to move into which areas. And I will personally discuss those matters with him uh, even after the sessions are the session is over sir so sir these are the concerns and these are the clarifications i would like to give and as mentioned uh, regarding the uh, the new outfit as i said the, intel the intelligence uh, inputs and complaints officially we have not come to us official complaints have not come to us in terms of any kind of fir or any kind of uh, uh, reports uh, and as i said the intelligence also the reports have not come to us from our side from the state government side uh, we are relying on a uh, uh, a newspaper article that has come out. Of course, the newspaper article also mentioned that two people were were arrested. Uh, so these are all based on the paper reports. But as I said, sir, we don't take anything lightly, and uh, we are taking it very seriously. And uh, we will ensure that sufficient manpower is there uh, to ensure that uh, the protection that is required and the safety that is required is given to our people. With these few clarifications, sir, I would like to resume my seat. Kishumu, you may seek one cl clarification if required. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, <clears throat> first of all, I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister for giving a very extensive reply, sir. And personally, sir, from my side, I have high hope and expectation on the present government and under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister, sir that things will be moving in the right direction in block one area. And so with the regard to that uh, PHC that I make uh, a request, because since this year, we only have one sub-center, so, so I don't think, I think maybe there won't be much of a problem if we upgrade it to a PHC, sir. So once again, sir, thank you, for so, much, thank you so much for allowing me to raise this call attention and also at the same time I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister for the excellent CPI. Thank you sir.